Today I'm actually going to be running errands. I'm going to pick up a gift at the mall. And then I'm going to Southgate area and I'm going to stop by my mom's. I'm going to stop by two of my friends' house. One to drop off a gift and the other one to drop off an invitation. I have to do, I've been meaning to send her RSVP but I didn't so I'm going to just drop it off just so it can get to her faster. I'm going to text them to see if they're even going to be home. Oh, before I text them, let me finish my skincare because then my skin is going to dry. are so chapped they feel so dry that's the only way I function and I can kind of think clearly because my mind my mind is just always thinking about a lot of things at once so I've, I've um, discovered that making to-do lists or like things I need to do in a list just helps me stay organized and helps me be more efficient with my time today I have a pretty I had a pretty long to-do list but I've, I haven't checked off all those things that I just completed um, I'm still in the works of laundry and meal prep, I think I'm going to do that after I run my errands. So for my errands, I need to, I need to pick up my checks. Uh, but let me tell you in the order that I'm going to run my errands. So first, I'm going to go to the mall, pick up a gift I ordered. Then after the mall, I have to go drop off a gift at my friend's house. Then I have to go drop off my friend's RSVP for her wedding. So I need to hurry up, wrap up these I'm also doing laundry, so I have um, clothes that I folded waiting on my bed, but I have one more load that I need to fold, and I'm going to do that as soon as I'm done kind of getting myself ready. I told Snap, I was on Snapchat the other day, and I mentioned how I want to get my eyebrows microbladed because it's kind of tedious having to do my eyebrows every time because I have really thin hair. So my eyebrows usually just look kind of messy if I don't get them, if I don't do them. And I just look really tired too. If I don't do my eyebrows. So I want to get them microbladed. My mom has them microbladed. They definitely like make her face just look more awake more put together but my thing I I the reason why I don't and I kind of hesitate is because I heard that the tint goes um, it turns kind of green so that's the reason why I've been kind of hesitant but I'm considering it my girls are actually they're at their Aria is with her auntie they went to Disney today and Natalia is with her grandma she loves her grandparents. So she's over there with them. Hanging out with her Wella and Wello. And I have been able to pick up the house and do laundry and do all that stuff. I've been up pretty since early in the morning. So I thought I would get ahead of the game, but it's just not enough time in the day. To get everything you need to get to get everything you need out of the way all right but then again yesterday guys I was really lazy I could have like meal prepped yesterday but I was just lazy we've been really busy here so I was just kind of my girls too they were just chilling we were watching movies we ended up falling asleep watching trolls it was nice so now today I'm like running around trying to get everything I didn't do yesterday <laughs> done. Trying to get this 
double chin covered because it's just growing and growing. Actually, I need to go get that clothes out because when I'm washing, I don't like to leave my clothes in the dryer because then it gets really wrinkled. And to get those wrinkles out, I'm just like, I'm not going to iron all that clothes. And it's my daughter's uniform too, so. This is my perfume choice for today. Let's put it here, here, and in the back, and here. One, my goodness. Let me leave you guys here. Look, so guys, I'm doing laundry. Um, I'm gonna go get the other basket of laundry, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna show you guys quick what I decided to put on this little workout set I got at Target. I it's really comfortable. I really like it. This is just what I'm wearing. I'm also wearing my jade koi fish necklace that I wear all the time. I wear that, and then I decided to put on this ring. My sister got that from. She brought it from Hawaii, so it's really pretty. She brought it for Aria. But I wear it. And then I'm just wearing these shoes. They're just some comfortable um, workout shoes. And then uh, that's all I'm going to wear today. I'm going to go run my errands already. I'm running a little late. Um, but yeah. Let's get going. Oh, and I also got this purse. Look. And so I'm trying to like give like a comfortable type of mom vibe. Like a comfortable, on the run, errand type of vibe. Yeah, I got this bag at Marshalls. I really like it because it's just... Oh my god, Eric is here. Oh, I didn't think he was going to come. I didn't want him to see me before I left. So this is just what I'm going to wear. Mom, just typical mommy running errands, trying to look cute, you know. Trying to be me, trying to be cute and hip. <laughs> I feel old saying that, but I'm just I'm trying to look cute, but still like running my errands. Yeah, let's get let's get out of here because Eric just got here. So I got to the mall, and there's a lot of people. It was really hard to find parking. So I'm gonna try my best to record with my phone, but me da vergüenza. So I may record some things. I might not. But yeah, I'm here. Breakfast is ready, Titi. Um, I'm living the mom life. Today, I kept the girls home from school. I didn't go to work. Aria has a speech evaluation. So we're going to go do that. I'm going to get out of the house really, like, now. Um, 
yeah, that's your baby. So I need to get out of the house. I already have the girls' outfits set, laid out, what they're going to wear today. Let's see your baby. Oh, there's your baby. Baby rock. Goodbye, baby. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Today's Monday. I'm gonna be vlogging my day. I just kind of I want you guys to hang out with me. I have I have to clean my house. That's like the main thing. Just clean my house and make dinner. Um. Oh my goodness, my camera's gonna die. Of course. Like, how did I not know that? I wanted to hang out with you guys today. I want to show you what I'm gonna do. I have a messy house, but I need to like just kind of get it get it um back into like functioning mode I guess because clutter my house is small guys so it clutters up really really quickly um and then I also need to clean up from Natalia's birthday little birthday celebration we did this past weekend so yeah I wanted to show you guys kind of what I do and how I do it I don't want to spend all day cleaning because I can spend all day cleaning but today is just not one of those days where I want to like spend my whole day here. Um, so right now, Cameron's about to die. So I need to put you guys to charge. Which sucks. I wish I would have. I didn't plan this. My life, guys, it's really hard to just like balance everything. It's really hard. I can't find like my balance. I've been struggling really hard and that's one of the reasons why I want to record because I want to like I want to talk to you guys a little bit um, about just kind of I guess motherhood and being a working mom and just kind of trying to have everything together but I, I just I feel like I can't get a grip you know um, I was talking to my sister about it um, yesterday and I'm just like how do I balance like working out because it always goes back to the same thing with me like my health um and I'm trying to find like that perfect balance for what works for me because we're always on the go you know we always have like soccer practice we like on the weekend we have soccer games and then we have soccer practice on Fridays and then we have whatever events are going on at school then we work we come home and it's kind of like a repetitive cycle like every day you know and it takes a little uh, not a little it takes a big toll on my mental state of being because then i kind of start falling behind on my home duties or i start falling behind on school duties or i start falling behind on my daughter's school duties as well it's just honestly like it's a lot and it's a lot to handle um, and I, I'm sharing this because I know I'm not the only one out there struggling like this. I, I know it's just kind of like a phase. It's gonna, we're gonna get through it. But as we're going through these motions, it's really hard to just kind of enjoy life, I guess, because there's just so much to do. Um, and I'm not complaining. I know like there's... It's, it's not a complaint. It's just kind of like I'm just talking to you guys, you know, like just sharing kind of what's going on in my head. And um, today, like I said, I didn't work. So I took myself out on a walk to just kind of like clear my head space. Um, but yeah, it's important that I have a clear home so that I can have a clear headspace or just like clean thinking space and I kid you guys not like I, I posted a video when I decluttered my daughter's room I decluttered my closet 
um, and I decluttered certain areas but it's just I feel like it's never ending you guys I feel like I declutter all the time and I always end up with piles of clothes and piles of toys all the way up to over my head you know and then I bring it down a little bit then it's manageable then again you know so I kind of I really want to I feel bad though like I want to it sounds crazy I want to just have like two pairs of clothes for my kids either two pairs of shorts two pairs of jeans like like that I don't know if Eric you know and then it's hard too because Eric is not on the same page with me he talks about like clutter and stuff sorry I'm, there's a job for tomorrow see tomorrow is Christmas I mean <laughs> tomorrow's not Christmas I wish it was tomorrow is Halloween and there's jobs tomorrow because so today the school the school district I work for they have pupil free day today and then they have pupil free day tomorrow for elementaries so tomorrow high schools are open and I just got a gig for math but I can't pick it up because I want to go to my daughter's um, Halloween event so I'm gonna go ahead and not take it but yeah I just want to share that anyways I'm rambling I want to show you guys what I'm gonna do I want to clean my house and kind of like chill with you guys vlog style just kind of like laid back nothing fancy um, maybe I can update you guys with what I've been doing and what has been going on with me on my in my life um, so it's 1042 I'll show you the time I want to give myself up until 1242 so two hours to clean my house I'll start in the room um, and I'll show you what I'm working with. I'll start in my daughter's room. This is, or my room. My room is not as messy. Easier to clean. So I'm going to start here. I just need to make my bed. Quick little cleanup that's just dirty clothes. soccer team had a trunk or treat event so you know all the parents got together they were giving out candy they took the kids trick-or-treating and so we had like this little area and there was a little girl and she just like when she came in she was looking at me and I was just like hi and yeah she was like looking at me and then after she approached me she's looking at me and I'm just like oh hi you know like I was a little like what thrown off and then she pointed at me and I'm like and then I look I'm like oh I'm Olaf I was like hi I'm Olaf like then I had to pretend it was just like you know blonde moment I guess but yeah I forgot I was Olaf and she was like Olaf I was like oh yeah I'm Olaf all right but yeah I'll show you my costume Are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm gonna put it on to entertain y'all. Be 
before my camera dies. Hopefully it doesn't die. Obviously, I didn't wear the mask because it's just kind of a lot to um, have. And Natalia scared of me with this mat, with this head on. But um, yeah, Natalia scared. I'm a little apprehensive about taking her trick or treating because she legit is scared on that that Friday that we went to the trunk or treating event um a little boy scared her not purpose not purposefully but um she was playing in the playground because it was it took place at a park so she was playing in the playground her her wello had her her grandpa he was taking care of her he took her to the playground point is that she was looking down and a little boy came up and he was a scream character for halloween and Natalia was looking down and when she looked up she saw him and she started screaming and she got really really scared like she didn't know what to do she was like right she wanted to run, run right then to the left and I know this because my sister told me I was with Aria in like where the soccer team was and yeah I just feel really bad and then we went to Disney yesterday and there was a little boy wearing shoes there were shoes we were in the restroom and the stall next to us the, it was a little boy or a little girl wearing like some black vans with the um all black with big green eyes in the front i think it was from the last dragon movie if you guys have seen that movie and the little boy or little the little kid walked and when they when when they walked i saw her looking at the shoes right she was just like looking and when the little kid started walking obviously you know the 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 shoes as soon as the little boy started walking natalia um she got scared and she ran to me and I'm just like, oh my God, like she's really scared like that. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking about it twice about taking her trick or treating. I'm a little worried, but I'm going to take her. Um, I want to show her like obviously she's going to be scared and I can't like shelter her from it. I just have to show her that I'm here and like hug her the whole way through if I need to. Um, but I think if she sees her sister being cool about it, she'll be cool about it too. Hopefully. We love Bluey. <laughs> 